This is a demonstration of the Renegade Technology Works uh, replacement strut controller for uh, Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4 and Stealth early model year cars. Um, the specific purpose of this demonstration is to show you how the strut controller works with the existing console display lights and ECS switch um, and gives you a complete diagnostic mode to find out uh, what strut is having a problem in the event of a failure, which is indicated in normal operating mode as you can see there by the sport light blinking slowly uh, and intermittently uh, during normal operation. The way that the diagnostic routine works is that it will test each of the struts in order starting with the front left strut indicated as strut number one, strut number two is front right, strut three is rear left, strut four is rear right. Um, to tell you which strut is being tested during the test sequence, the sport light will blink by itself a number of times to indicate which strut is being tested. So if the sport light blinks three times, that means the uh, strut three is being tested, which would be the rear left. Um, during the test sequence, it will use the sport and tour lights in combination to actually indicate um, the modes that the strut is being tested in. So sport light will turn on during the test, saying I'm trying to put you in hard mode. Then it'll go to medium mode, which is sport and tour on, and then soft mode, which would be tour on by itself. At the end of the sequence, um, the sport and tour lights will blink a number of times to indicate that that strut has finished being tested. So if both the sport and tour lights blink three times, that means that the right rear strut number three, excuse me, the right left strut number three uh, has finished being tested. And in between those blinks, if the sport and tour lights go solid, then that's going to be a positive indication that the strut tested okay. It was able to be commanded into hard, medium, and soft. If you do not see the sport and, and uh, tour lights go solid um, after the indication of which strut's being tested, then that means that strut failed. So let's actually go ahead and do the test and walk through the sequence. Uh, to get into diagnostic mode, you press and hold the ECS switch until the console light's clear. So I'm pressing and holding. Console lights are clear, you let go, the test sequence has started. Sport light's going to blink to tell us which strut is being tested. It's blinking once. So it means it's testing strut 1. It's trying to put it in hard, medium, and soft. There is no strut 1, so it's going to fail. And now the sport and tour light are both blinking to say that strut 1 is finished, but there's no solid lights saying that it has indeed failed. Now the sport light is blinking twice, indicating I'm testing the right front, which should be our good strut. Now it's setting its strut to hard, medium, soft mode. I was able to do it. I'm finished testing strut 2, the lights go solid, strut 2 checked out good. Finished testing strut 2, lights go solid, strut tested good. Now it's going to move on to the third strut, sport light should blink three times. One, two, three, I'm testing the third strut. It's going to try and put it in hard, medium, and soft mode. There is no strut 3, so it's going to uh, it should indicate a failure condition here at the end of the sequence. 1, 2, 3, I'm finished testing strut 3. No solid sport and tour lights, meaning there's a failure. So only blinks at the end of the test sequence means failure. Blinks with solid lights means good condition. Four blinks on the sport light, testing strut 4. It's now trying to do the test, hard, medium, and soft. It's not able to. Four blinks on both lights saying I'm done, but no solid lights, meaning a failure. To get out of the diagnostic mode, you just press and hold the, the ECS switch again, and that'll interrupt the routine, and you'll go back to normal operation. If you don't do anything, it'll start the sequence over. And as you can see there, it's now going back to the beginning of the top, uh, starting with strut one.